Well, hello everyone, this is Cesar. I hope everyone is doing well and you are all safe and sound with everything that is going on. At the end of the video, I will share my thoughts about it, right? And today I just wanted to share with you something that is different, right? Um, this is not the case that came with the guitar. This is the case that I use when I go to the studio. I use old cases and this is one of them. It's an old Epiphone case, right? This is totally <laughs> worn out. But look at what is inside. And it is not a usual thing to see, it is not a usual guitar. And as always in Cesar all guitar you get good things, right? So look at this, right? This is a 2007 Gibson Les Paul standard faded, but it's a conversion done by La Ricorsa and we are going to take a look at it immediately. Let me give you a little bit of a detail. As I said, it's a 2007 Les Paul Standard faded, right? But a conversion done by La Records. And look at this beautiful top, right? I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if in the video you would appreciate the flame in all its glory, right? But let me give you a closer zoom at it. Just from the aesthetics perspective, it's a great guitar, it's beautiful. And now, let me show you a little bit more of what is the conversion, what is this thing of the conversion, right? But it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous faded 2007 Gibson Les Paul standard. Well, if you follow my channel, you probably know that I own a big dog from Larry Cosa. I have a cover of Roy Buchanan, The Messiah Will Come Again. I will put a card over there, right? And I always wanted to put my hands on one of his conversions. The problem is that they are always out of stock. They sell very, very, very quickly, right? Until I got this one. <laughs> and I got it, right? Uh, this is, as I said, a 2007 Les Paul Standard Faded uh, converted by Larry Corsa. And what is the conversion about? So this is the certificate that Larry Corsa gives you with each one of his conversions, right? And now let me take you through the main characteristics of the conversion. You may hear some noise on the background, and I'm sorry, this is Miami. People are not very much concerned about what is going on. Anyway, let me take you through the different modifications conversions that Larry Corsa has done to the guitar, right? First of all, those are two Manalishi pickups. Those are great pickups. I mean, believe me, I mean, I just came from the studio. This guitar is, uh, sounds absolutely wonderful. It's a beast, right? It is a beast. The big dog was already good. This is absolutely fantastic, right? Uh, Manalishi pickups. By the way, you will hear, you will listen to the guitar, in a cover that I'm uploading during the next days. So uh, sit tight and watch out for the cover. You know that I don't like to demonstrate guitars. I find those videos really without any substance. I much rather prefer to hear the guitar in the mix, right? In a cover, for example. This is what I'm gonna do. Uh, this is what I always do, right? So two uh, Manalisi pickups. So second part of the conversion, you will see that the bridge and the tailpiece are different. Those are Faber tone locks. The tailpiece is um, the 59 lightweight aluminium and the, the bridge is a, is a tone lock with what is called the Faber Pro bridge posts. I think it is Pro Biscuit, something like that, right? And you will see that it has like a screw there. Uh, you can adjust it with this tool that comes with the guitar, right? Basically, I assume, let me open the bar, that this goes this way, right? Yes. Okay. 
So you can adjust it with this one and it is really very good because it allows you also to adjust here the, the, the tailpiece. I need to set the guitar up. It plays beautifully but it is not set up as per my specs, as it's logical. I mean it came very well set up but I need to go through it and I need to put it at my liking, right? It sounds beautiful, it is like, a, as I said, it's a beast, really, believe me. Well, more things that happen in this guitar. Here you have a push-pull and you have only one. It is not a coil splitting. When you have your pickup selector in the middle position and then you pull here at the tone, what happens is that the two pickups get out of phase and they produce this very characteristic sound like Peter Greenish one, I would say, right? Uh, more things that have happened, the tuners, let me just turn the guitar around. I don't know if you can see the serial number is there, right? It's a 2007 guitar, yes. And the tuners are Faber Deluxe. Uh, well, I've just played today. I mean, it stays in tune, but I probably would go and give her uh, Grover locking tuners. Well, I need to think about it. Just for the, let's say, convenience of changing the strings. You see the ears here, and just they are shorter. Probably Larry has modified also the width of the headstock because it seems to me there is a little bit uh, narrower than the Les Paul standards, right? And the neck profile is at 50s, right? It's a very nice neck. And as you see on the back, it says, Corsa Conversions, right? This is a fantastic playing guitar and it sounds like heaven, believe me. You will hear it on the cover, right? So now what is going to happen is that I'm going to clean the guitar. You know that I clean the guitars when I get them the first time in depth and more with what is going on now. Uh, I'm going to set it up to my specs, to my liking. And after that, I'm going to upload a beautiful cover for all of you so you can listen to the guitar. But that is going to happen in a different video because the music outside is really killing me. Well, so as you see, a gorgeous guitar, right? Plays beautifully. It is not set up to my liking. Once I will get it set up as I want, it will be absolutely fantastic and sounds like a terrible beast, believe me, it's amazing, right? The Manalishi pickups are really great. Larry Corsa does a great job. All his guitars are fantastic players and sounding guitars, right? Now, I don't want to get serious and add more to the concern that probably you all have with everything that is going on. I'm not going to name the disease because even doing so, uh, YouTube is going to demonetize the video, right? But a couple of things. First, don't listen to all of those conspiracy theories that people are uploading on YouTube. That's total crap. The second, there's a lot of wrong advice also in YouTube. I'm not here to give any medical advice to anybody, but first thing, wash your hands very frequently. Wash your hands with soap and water. If you don't have hand sanitizer, that's not a problem. Soap and water are fantastic, right? Of course, hand sanitizer, these small bottles are really very good when you are, uh, you know, go going from A to B or to use them at the office, whatever, right? But at home, soap and water. Second, there is no reason to panic. You need to be prepared in that I agree, you need to be alert, you need to listen to the advice of your local authorities, you need to listen to the advice of the Center for Disease Control. The best source of information that you may have is the Center for Disease Control, but you don't need to panic. This morning, something very funny has happened to my wife and I. We went to do a little bit of a shopping and we found four, four toilet paper rolls, right? Four, okay? 10.99. Right, ten dollars and ninety-nine cents, eleven dollars. That's totally, totally unacceptable, and it is because everybody is shopping and shopping and shopping and shopping. Right, so keep calm, wash your hands, extreme the hygiene, and don't go 
to crowded places if you can avoid them, right? Don't panic, just be prepared. See you very soon in my next video and up to that moment, play your guitars, have fun, be good and stay safe my friends. Bye!